Hey Rays of Sunshine, it's Evelina of Evergreen Art Dolls. I know it's been a while since I've come on with a video, but just between work and the holiday season and everything, I'm just super busy. So I didn't get a chance to pop on here and do a video, but I got in the mail um, a few days ago um, this package from the UK and I am very excited to open it with you guys. It is not um, necessarily a doll, but I will be using it for doll props. And he's super cute, he's a little creature, and um, yeah, like I love all things cute. And actually, before I get into this, let me tell y'all the story. Um, you guys can see the adorable little box, but, so yeah, let me tell y'all a little story. So. I had one of these cute little creations before that I ordered from eBay and that was probably, I don't know, like maybe uh, maybe like three, three years ago or so I had ordered um, a little creation from this artist, but um, yeah, an unfortunate event happened by my two four-legged children. Um, yeah, so my cat, I think somehow got onto the shelf where my little okay it's a mouse you guys see the picture of it so I had this little mouse from this artist and yeah my cat got on the shelf and knocked it down and it knocked it down to my dog who ate it because all that I could find was a little bed that it came in um, that the artist created for it and yeah that was it so my dog loves to just swallow things whole he's whole he's just greedy all the time and I was so so upset but um but yeah and I always wanted to replace it and I saw her on the artist on Etsy because she sort of disappeared from eBay and I was like oh no and but I was kind of like search on eBay sometimes and see if I can find like a little brown mouse because that's the name of her um store is or her business it's little brown mouse and friends so by um michelle russ so let's go ahead and get into it first and then i'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more um about this little this little cutie I have another box from the one that I had before that um, I kept because the box was just super cute. I love those customized little um, bits right there. And I, I'm also thinking about maybe cutting it out and putting it somewhere. Um, I love artwork like that. So thank you. And it's just so cute and rustic looking. Like I love the little print and everything. I wonder if it's like a stamp probably is but yeah so we have this adorable little thank you card cute and then here's the box little brown mouse and friends oh this is the box I think I have so yeah I didn't get this box at the first time but I think I have a box that looks just like this and it's super cute the little mousies on it Oh, it's upside down and ta-da! <laughs> He's so cute. Oh my goodness, look at him, you guys. Look at those little puppy dog eyes. So this is a felted mouse. And he is just adorable. Look at him. I tried to get one that was close to the one that I lost and um this was the one that was the closest and i love his color i think my other one might have been a little bit more of a brown color but this one is just precious look at the little hat and she handmade the hat as well oops it has a little pin in there i gotta be careful with that but yeah a little pom-pom on it so i'm pretty sure she filtered this as well and super super sweet His little ears, he's so delicate. 
and then he has this little teddy bear I love it when they hold the little teddy bear so she has um, some in her shop not right now I think I looked and I didn't see any currently in her shop and I will link her shop in the description and put it in the video as well um, but yeah she's on Etsy now and look at the little whiskers and yeah they're just so detailed and so well done and she gives like little characters to all of them so all of them are like holding different things some might come with like a little bat in a basket that's how mine came before um, this has a little bear like you saw this one had this cute little um, pink Christmas hat and um, let me see another one I saw had like a cookie another one a dress like they have different little like extras that she includes with them that kind of adds to their little character check out his little tail I'm not sure what she makes his tail and ears and hands and feet out of but it just adds to the realism I think and he is just adorable I love like the little sad eyes so cute I can't wait to take some nice pictures of him like I said I always wanted to replace the one that um, my animals ate so I um, went looking for a felted mouse because I watched this movie oh he's not standing that great though let's see um, we'll just keep him right there like that but I was watching um, a movie on Netflix that I really really enjoyed it's a boy called Christmas on Netflix great holiday movie really cute um, movie for those of you who um, enjoy watching Christmas movies during the holiday in the movie um, this little boy had a a uh, little pet mouse that he sort of rescued from his dad that goes along with him on his little travels to find his dad um, I don't want to do a spoiler of the movie but it's a super cute movie and the mouse was just adorable in it and so I went looking for a little Felton mouse it kind of sparked my um, memory again like I said I found this artist again after a while and decided to go ahead and grab this little cutie up and he is just adorable I'm so happy with and him. the movie you guys has like um, pixies and elves and I think there's there's a giant in there and just all the fantasy creatures that I love so I really just like that movie I'll yeah. definitely have to keep him away from my animals in the house he would be living here in my she shed because I had him in my bedroom um, just because he was just so cute to look at but yeah he will be staying in my she shed this time around just in case because y'all know cats can pretty much get to anything and climb on anything so um so yeah so he can be displayed in all his adorable cuteness you guys let me know what you think of him in the comments i really would love to learn how to felt like cute little animals and creatures and things and so that's on my long list of things to learn in the future but yeah i just wanted to share this little box opening with you guys and i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when i do post more videos i hope to get back to posting videos pretty regularly here in the new year um that's definitely one of my goals and i'm almost at 800 subscribers i wanted to reach a thousand by the end of the year i don't think that's gonna happen but um but yeah i'm enjoying like reading all of you guys comments and things and thank you guys so much for your support and um peace love and blessings i'll talk to y'all later bye